Hello everyone, uh, my name's Roger, and I'm on a rooftop in California, and the sun is going to set pretty soon. Um, I've just been up here for a while journaling and thinking and listening to music. Um, well, not really music, more like um, meditation, sounds to raise your vibration. Um, and it definitely works. It's very calming music. Um, but I read an article yesterday about awakening your kundu kundalini? kundalini spirit. And, um, and uh, I guess I half-heartedly attempted to do it yesterday. And then today I focused on it, I meditated, and um, I've really just been sort of reflecting on the path that I've been on this last year. I mean, like, for me, I might as well just sum it up, like, I'm 22 years old, and I just moved from my hometown in Minnesota for the first time January last year, and it hasn't even been a full year yet, but, like... It's been the best and the worst year. Um, such an experience, and like, I recommend it for so many reasons, but it's also like, I wanna give so many warnings because I've sort of, like, I feel like I survived. Like I had to survive something, and that's sort of honestly like the easiest way to put it. Like right now, I just feel like I should be dead and I'm not, and I'm thankful, and I'm not trying to be dead. But the thing is, about, uh, so I first even heard about a chakra in July last year. Um, I used to carry these rocks around before I knew it was a thing, um, these gems, and I didn't know what that there was points in your body that had energies. I just simply, I had these colors and I had to make determine what they meant to me. Like I remember before I used to focus on like just like what colors there were and what shades there were and what they meant and how I felt about them. And there would always be certain patterns like when I was reading or writing like things and events would feel different colors and like I even like last year in my calendar like, before I knew what chakras were, I sort of started that system. Like, here was January last year, just so much. And then it was sort of got a little less, and then there's color. But, you know, like, here's a lot of red and orange, so it obviously wasn't the best. And then it, there's more color here, that's good, but then, like, whoa. And then this is when, just a normal month, I first looked at my chakras July 15th. And then I sort of just slowly, I'd meditate. Those are sort of the days that I was focusing on. That was just like a crazy month for me. And then again, less crazy, returning back to normal. And now I still have to do January, December, but I just went back to Minnesota. And I've been just processing these emotions like, I went to Minnesota to process my emotions, and then I came here, and I'm like, still having a hard time digesting what I'm really feeling. And that's sort of my warning is, it's like once you really awaken, like you're not just alive, but you're really like aware, and everything starts to, everything starts to be really real. You can pour a glass of water and it'll be really emotional because you'll just think about all the pain in the world and how, oh, what if this is your last glass of water? And it's definitely a beautiful thing too. Like you do more things that are sacred, like just getting to go on the roof and write and listen to music becomes magical. And then I've done so many things like that, like that mountain over there. I ran it, and just looking at it, it sparks so many emotions, and like everything that I do, I really realize that even if you're not trying, you're always really holding the pen and the marker, 
and you may just be leaving chicken scratch everywhere you go, but it's it's up to you um, what you do with that. And so waking up to that power and realizing like, yeah, each day that I wake, like I get to dream, I get to do, or I get to not do, it's just so powerful. And I wanna warn you because I still don't understand it. And here I am, I'm trying to like awaken my kundalini serpent because it was like all of these powers aside, this is sort of like the next frontier. And I have I keep running into these warnings and it's like, are you ready? I don't know. Um, I, I am ready. <laughs>